On the Medical Watch, new COVID vaccines are expected to roll out late next month, aimed at subvariants of Omicron, which has been dominant since last year. More than 240 million Americans have gotten at least one COVID-19 shot. Last year, though, demand fell to about 50 million doses. Still, health experts hope people start viewing them as an annual prevention, like a flu shot, tweaked to match the variant expected to circulate in the fall. Hospitalizations have ticked up from low levels in June as the Aris variant of Omicron spreads. Doctors are prescribing an antibiotic to prevent certain sexually transmitted infections in gay, bisexual, and transgender women. Doxycycline is already used to treat chlamydia, gonorrhea, and syphilis after the person becomes infected. But recent research suggests one 200 milligram dose can be effective in preventing the infection if taken within 72 hours after unprotected sex. Use of the drug comes as rates of STI skyrocket across the U.S. The CDC is expected to draft guidance for public comment in the next several weeks. Some health departments already have their own guidance on using the antibiotic for STI prevention. The CDC's would help streamline the treatment. An increasing number of adults believe marijuana smoke is less harmful than tobacco. That conclusion, doctors say, is untrue. In three surveys of more than 5,000 people conducted between 2017 and 2021, the number of adults who believe cannabis is somewhat or much safer rose from 25% to more than 44%. Doctors say burning tobacco or pot releases toxins and tar that can hurt the lungs and cause cancer. And a study last year found higher rates of emphysema among marijuana smokers than cigarette smokers. That's a look at medical news. Still